sells parts to build guns from scratch, warded off an ATF raid today. The owner claims the feds are going after them, not for what they sell, but whom they sell to. Fox 5's Misha DeBono is live outside Aries Armor, where a restraining order prevented the government agency from coming in and snooping around. Misha. Yeah, good evening, Jen. Aries Armor says the ATF is threatening to shut them down if they don't hand over some 5,000 names of people, customers, who have bought a product that is basically, it's, it's the base of what will become an AR-15 assault-style rifle. It's a build-your-own. It's perfectly legal unless this one particular part is not manufactured to ATF specifications. This is the, uh, the item that they're looking at that they um, have deemed incorrectly to be a firearm. It's called an 80% lower receiver, the base of what will become a homemade AR-15 assault-style rifle. Sold like this, it's not considered a firearm. What the ATF has determined time and time again is that there is five operations on the AR-15 receivers that need to be uh, left undone that still need to be mowed by the customer in order for it to be considered not to be a firearm. Here's the problem. A manufacturer has made one in plastic with different material and colors. This is plastic, this is metal. Which show the person building it exactly where to drill, making it easier and cheaper. And now the ATF says it's illegal and sent stores like Aries Armor letters demanding they turn over the products and the names of anyone who bought one. But they said either give us these 5,000 names or we're coming in and we're pretty much taking everything, which is a huge, huge, huge privacy concern and something that we are not willing to do. Previous letter that's been issued by the ATF. To their attorneys, they told the ATF they could pick up the receivers Wednesday morning here at their Oceanside headquarters. The problem is giving up their private client list, a privacy issue they say they will not comply with. They're going to search all of our facilities, they're going to confiscate our computers, they're pretty much going to shut our business down. The government invades our privacy uh, on a daily basis and everyone seems to think that it's okay. And it's, it's, this is one of those situations where hopefully the judicial system will come in and say, you know, this is, uh, this is private information, it's protected, and no, you're not taking it from them. In anticipation of a raid, they filed and got a temporary restraining order stopping the ATF from confiscating their property. And now the ATF is contending that the plastic version is actually made or manufactured first as a firearm and then changed, to which they, of course, say is not the case at all. Meantime, we did see some ATF agents here. They did not speak to us. We called their main headquarters, and they said that, in fact, uh, there is an ongoing investigation, but that is all they can say. Meantime, with this temporary restraining order, um, if the two groups don't come to some sort of compromise, they will be in court for a preliminary hearing on the 20th. That's the very latest here, Jen. We'll send it back to you. Interesting story. Uh, certainly privacy versus uh, safety concerns. Jeremy Shadavona for us tonight. Thank you.